And welcome in a shocking death on the Gulf Coast. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Brittany Decker and I'm Jarvis Robertson. Now this story is getting national attention after an Alabama man died on the operating table in a hospital in Florida. Yeah, the uh, family's attorney says that he died when the surgeon mistakenly removed the wrong organ. Our WVTM 13's Lisa Crane spoke to the attorney today and Lisa, this is just horrible. Yeah, you know it is. It happened just two weeks ago at Ascension Sacred Heart Emerald Coast Hospital in Miramar. The man was on a trip with his wife when he experienced pain in his side. So he went to the emergency room there. The decisions made after that led to his death. 70 year old Bill Bryan was a loving father and grandfather in Northwest Alabama. His family is now dealing with the huge void left by his death. I know I'm not the only wife that has lost her husband suddenly, but the loss of my bill was exceptionally unnecessary and brutal. Beverly and Bill were visiting the Panhandle when Bill started experiencing pain in his side. They went to Sacred Heart Emerald Coast Hospital. Beverly says Dr. Thomas Shaknowski told her he needed his spleen removed immediately. During the surgery, Bill died. The hospital's pathology report says the organ Dr. Shaknowski removed was labeled spleen, but was actually his liver. He bled to death on the operating room table. Everyone knows you can't live with, without your liver. It's about the same thing as if they had pulled out your heart, his heart. All the doctors that I speak to say it's virtually impossible for a surgeon who's board certified in general surgery to mistake a liver for a spleen. I tend to agree with that. Joe Zarzer is representing the Bryan family. He says Beverly wants to make sure this doesn't happen to another family. My job as a trial lawyer for plaintiffs is to affect change through money. And what that means is we make it so painful to the defendants in the case that they don't act this way again. Now in Florida, you can't just go file a lawsuit against a medical provider. You actually have to go through what they call a pre-suit to determine if a lawsuit can be filed. That is what's happening right now. And if it is allowed in the future, there could be a lawsuit against not only the doctor here, but also so, well, that's Sacred Heart Emerald Coast Hospital. This is unbelievable, Lisa. I understand that Brian's attorney says this doctor has made a similar mistake in the past. Yeah, that's right. According to Joe Zarzer, Dr. Shaknowski was involved in a wrong site surgery in just the past several years, too. This also happened at Sacred Heart. He was sued because during that surgery, he allegedly misidentified the pancreas as the adrenal gland, and that case was actually settled, and it was also kind of uh, hushed, so we don't know the details right. of that settlement, but it happened in 2023. That patient, patient though, did survive. Wow. I'm pretty sure everyone's going to continue to be following this oh, story. Yeah, thank yeah, you so sure. much. Lisa, thank you.